it's Wolves here, and today I'm bringing you guys day number 11 of the 25 days of Christmas. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this cool little hexagon thing. Um, will probably be a picture of it on the screen, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to make that. Um, it's pretty sweet. Uh, uh, it is kind of basic, so like if you kind of know how to use Cinema 4D, this probably won't be anything new to you. But I do know that there are a lot of people who do not know how to use Cinema 4D at all, so this Maybe new new, I don't know, whatever, if it's not. Anyway, it looks really cool, and I've seen a lot of people doing this recently, so, and I've, I've done it in the past as well, so I decided I'd just make a little tutorial on how to do it. Um, but with that being said, um, if you don't have some 40 for some reason, maybe, um, I will have like a some files in the description of PNGs of it. But anyway, uh, let's just get right into it. So, up here, you have your toolbar and stuff. And by the way, I am using Cinema 4D R12, um, which it doesn't matter what version you're using. Uh, R12 is kind of old, but it doesn't really matter. So you want to come up here to the little stuff up here, and you want to go platonic. Add. So you just want to center it, so whatever. So I'm just going to adjust this real quick so it looks all good. That, yeah, that looks good enough. Alright, so on the platonic, uh, so you just come over here to this little bendy thing and you go up here to the displacer, you just like hold and then, yeah, you probably know how to do that. All right, and so then the next step is to come over here to this little bendy thing, come up to the displacer and just click it pretty much. Now you'll, or now you'll probably notice there's no difference, that's because you have to drag this onto this. Now if you don't know how to drag it for some reason, you just click the click button, the left one, and just hold on it, and then until it's like selected on the platonic, until you have a down arrow, and just let go, and then, yeah, I'm assuming most of you guys know how to do that, it's pretty basic. Uh, uh, you want to make sure that you're selected on this placer, so you know you're selected on it when you're selected on it. It's about as in-depth as I can get into that one. Uh, and you want to come over here to the shading, so you just, you know, click on it, uh, and go to custom shader, or I mean, I'm just kidding, go to the shader, so it's like right here. Click on it and go, um, it's either noise, I'm pretty sure it's noise. And you just want to come over here and change the height. Now you're going to see a difference. And this is where you can do some cool things with it. Um, if we just switch it back to the regular. If we come over here to the platonic, if we uh, add some more segments to it, uh, if we just add, let's just say five, we come back over to the displacer and make, we're an object by the way, and you change the height. As you can see, we get some cool stuff. Like, I don't even know, it's like, like a crystal or something, I don't know, it looks really cool. Um, and now obviously this is kind of, there's a lot of it going on now. You can do some cool stuff with it. Um, now obviously, what most people do is they will change the, um, go back into the platonic and go to like 2, and they'll change the displacer. And you know, they'll do some kind of cool shape. Now when you come back over here to the shading, you can actually change the seed, which will then change the like look of it so like that one looks kind of cool and you know you can just make some really like cool looking stuff um this is really sweet now i'm going to show you guys a few other things that you can do with it sorry if you hear my chair it sucks um so yeah so this actually looks really bad i'm trying to fix this real quick um come to look right right there looks pretty cool i guess We'll just we'll leave it there. So what you can do is you just want to click this little minus button, select it, and do command C, command V, which will duplicate it. Uh, you want to come over here into the um, this little thing, the, that thing, uh, and go to atom array, and then just drag the duplicate into the atom array. Now you get this cool looking like effect, and when you change the sphere radius changes the spheres, like it says, and you change the cylinder radius, it changes the cylinders. And so it kind of starts looking like some, uh, if you guys have ever seen the plugin in After Effects, the Plexus plugin, that's kind of what it looks like here. Um, like, looks kind of like that. 